Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will. I'm your boy, Captain Will. Make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe The Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will. You are now rocking with the best. And since you're rocking with the best, come rock with your boy, Captain Will. Today is my Thanksgiving. Today is my Thanksgiving. Talking about what, Captain Will, what you talking about today is your Thanksgiving. Today is my Thanksgiving because today I get all my favorite foods. Thanksgiving, you know, people focus on the turkey. They focus on the mashed potatoes. They focus on the, the stuffing. They focus on the chitlins. They focus on the pig feet. They focus on the macaroni and cheese. They focus on all these things, right? The fried chicken, all these things that people focus on. But you know, Captain Will, my favorite foods are not on Thanksgiving. It ain't. And my favorite food is not collard greens and 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 and, and sweet potato pie and and and, and 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 fried chicken and and stuffing and macaroni and cheese. No, 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 that, that ain't my favorite foods. No, in fact, my favorite foods, my favorite foods is burgers. My favorite foods is hot dogs. My favorite foods is some brats. And my favorite some some shish kebab. I want some um, some coleslaw, some chili. I want some French fry. That's my favorite foods, and I'm getting all that today. I'm getting all that day. I already did all the preparations. I did all the preparations. I did all. I got my. I took my blood pressure pill. I took my my um my cholesterol pill. I took I took it because I already because I already know it's gonna be getting it's gonna get nasty. It's getting dirty later on this evening. It's getting when the sun goes down. Captain Will getting on. It's getting down, it's getting nasty today. The fireworks will be popping. Everything be gonna go. It's just gonna be an unbelievable day. And then I'm gonna take a nap and I'm gonna go eat some more. That's what's going down today. That's what's going on today. I will be partaking in many adult beverages this evening because that's the 4th of July Fourth of July for me. It might not be your 4th of July, but it's my 4th of July. So my Thanksgiving is today. I celebrate Thanksgiving today on the 4th of July. And it happens to be Independence Day, and I'm an old soldier, and I appreciate it, and I love it. So while you enjoying your Thanksgiving, think of old Captain Will and think about all the soldiers, all the sailors, all the airmen, all the Marines who've been doing the damn thing. That's what you do. But we got a good one today, y'all. We got a good one today, y'all. We're talking about my favorite player in college basketball. We're talking about Raven Hollywood Johnson. Raven Johnson, University of South Carolina Gamecocks, my favorite player. And if you know Cap Will, you already know Raven is my favorite. And Raven is bringing that calm presence to Team USA. That is needed. That is needed. That's what she's doing. Team USA plays Brazil today. It's a marquee matchup. Both on teams undefeated. Both of the teams has been dominant. For the most part. We can talk about the matchups of rate of Angel Reese uh, versus you know Camila Cardoza. We can talk about the matchup of Lauren Betts versus Camila Cardoza. We can talk about the matchup of Raven Johnson versus Camila Cardoza, both South Carolina game cop. Teammates play together in AAU. We can talk about that matchup. But we're going to talk about Raven Johnson and her matchup with the opposing Brazilian veteran guards. Because when you, like I talked about yesterday in, in the video, when you're playing against these grown women who's been playing basketball for a long time, Raven, like, what, 20 years old? Raven, 20 years old. 19, 20 years old. Playing against some people on this Brazilian team. On this Venezuelan team, on these different teams that sometimes are 30 plus years old. These are the challenges that Team USA has. Because they send in their national team. They send their senior national team. While we're sending a bunch of college players, which I love because they're getting the experience. But Raven Johnson, my favorite player, has that presence on the court like none other. We can look at the stats. Against Venezuela, she had eight points, four rebounds, three assists, one steal, and 17 minutes to play. Came off the bench in a blowout, did her damn thing, okay? We can look at the, uh, the second game against Argentina. Argentina is a very, very good team. Very good team. Started at six points, two rebounds, one block, two assists, and one steal, and 19 minutes to play. For the tournament, she's averaging, what, uh, seven points, three rebounds, three assists, and 18 minutes. Shooting 60% for the field, 100%. From the free throw line. Are those stats gaudy? Are those stats mind blowing? Are those stats gonna knock your socks off? No, they're not. They're not. They're not gonna knock your socks off. I mean, but what those stats show 
or what I did not mention is through two games, Raven Johnson has had three turnovers as the primary ball handler. The primary ball handler, when she's on the court, she's had three turnovers through two games. You're starting point guard. You're starting point guard. Game one versus Venezuela, United States was sloppy, sloppy with the ball, sloppy with the ball. United States had 23 turnovers. Of those 23 turnovers, your main ball handler, point guard, had two of them. Game against Argentina has 17 turnovers. Your starting point guard had one. So that's the, you know, those, those are some of the stats that's not even talked about sometimes. Assist to turnover ratio. How many turnovers that the, 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 the starting point guard have? What about defense? Because we hear, especially in today's game, we hear all about these gaudy stats. Oh, such and such shots, five three-pointers. Oh, such and such is, they got 30 points. But what do they do on the defensive end? Are you a liability on the defensive end? Raven Johnson always put ball pressure on the opposing point guard. Always. 94 feet, that's what she does. Her, she, she plays at a frenetic pace. And when she puts that frenetic pace, that defense on you, you got to feel it. That's what Raven Johnson does. But we don't talk about defense. Because defense don't, don't show up in the box score. Except for steals. So unless you're getting a steal, defense don't show up, right? But that Raven plays exceptional defense. Every game. That's what she does. I hear, I, I hear like in my mentions and comments everything. Talking about Raven. Oh, man, she ain't playing a good game, Cap. No, man, the first couple ain't she ain't playing the game. Why? Because she ain't shooting five three-pointers? Why? Because she ain't um, getting 30 points? I'm going to do a little news flash for y'all. I mean, here's news flash. Yeah, and, my, and it might be mind-blowing, especially in this, this age of basketball. In this time of basketball, it might be mind-blowing. I don't want my point guard, my starting point guard, to shoot a bunch of three-pointers. Like, wow. Cat, what the hell are you talking about? I do not want my starting point guard shooting a bunch of three-pointers. My, 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 my opinion, and this is just me, of watching 40 years of basketball, the starting point guard's job is not to shoot a whole bunch of three-pointers. The starting point guard should be a threat to shoot a three-pointer, but my starting point guard should not be shooting five, six, seven three-pointers a game. I don't want that. My starting point guard, my starting point guard should be the quarterback of the team, should be the quarterback of the offense. My starting point guard should should distribute distribute the ball to the open ball handlers. My starting um, distribute the ball to the open teammates. My starting point guard should run the offense given by the head coach. My starting point guard should be an extension of the head coach. That's what I want my starting point guard to do. My starting point guard should be able to play defense and put ball pressure all game long. It is not a, I shoot five, six, seven, three pointers. And then on defense, I take a break because I know I'm, a, I'm needing an offense. I am, my starting point guard should be playing offense slash defense. I hate that term three and D in this basketball era. I think that's a dumb term. I think that's a dumb, oh, I'm going to shoot a three, then I'm going to go back and I'm going to play dip. No. No. It is an all-around basketball player. My starting point guard should not only be an exceptional ball handler, she should also have exceptional 
uh, vision and be a leader on the court. My fav one of my favorite players in, in, in NBA history is Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd, number two pick in, in, in the 1994 NBA draft, played at Cal for two years. His stats, his stats, his, his freshman year had 13 points, eight assists, five rebounds, and averaged four steals per game. 13 points, eight assists, five rebounds, and four steals per game. Not gaudy stats at the at, at, as far as point production. His sophomore year, 17 points, nine assists, seven rebounds, and three steals. Jason Kidd. Future NBA, future basketball Hall of Famer. Long career. Long career. South, South Carolina has its own version of Jason Kidd. Her name is Raven Johnson. Raven Johnson will get will lead the SEC in assists this year. She's going to lead the SEC in assists. Book it. Mark it down. She's going to be getting assist numbers from Camila Cardozo, who's going to be getting so many easy baskets this year. She's going to get assist numbers from distributing the ball to a Tahina Pow Pow. Distributing the ball to a Breezy Hall. Distributing the ball to a Tessa Johnson. The numbers will go up, up, up. She will lead the SEC in assists. She will be a finalist for the Nancy Lieberman Award, which, which, which goes to the best point guard in the country. This is Raven Johnson. The quintessential point guard in college basketball. Not a shooting guard masquerading as a point guard. I'm talking about a true point guard. That's what I'm talking about. So we can have conversations about various different players on paper who are playing the quote-unquote point guard position. When actuality, they are playing, they are a shooting guard who is masquerading as a point guard. We can talk about it. I ain't going to name names. But if you know women's college basketball, you already know. But I will take the best ball distributor. I will take the best college women's basketball player with the best vision. I will take the extension of Coach Don Staley, I will take the best true point guard in college basketball, and her name is Raven Hollywood Johnson. This concludes another episode of Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will. I'm your boy, Captain Will. If you, you already know. You already know you're rocking with the best. And since you're rocking with the best, come rock with your boy, Captain Will. The best daily game cost coverage you're going to get. Bar none. Book it. Let's go.